NFL on Channel 3 News. On Sunday, the game comes alive. Pro football, the game for the ear and the eye. A two and a half hour carnival of color, sound, and action. Today on NFL Films Presents, the NFL's toughest player joins us for a show on mean men and tough hits. NFL Films Presents is brought to you by Ed Shave Gel. Ultimate closeness, ultimate comfort. The Pittsburgh Steelers have always had the toughest players in the NFL. You can go back to the 1950s when they had Ernie Stautner and John Henry Johnson. And then in the 60s and 70s, they had the Steel Curtain, Mean Joe Green, Jack Lambert. And now... Greg Lloyd. Greg, welcome to the show. Thank you, Steve. You know, there's a sign that hangs out there on game day, and on it it says, just plain nasty, and then your name underneath it. Is that an accurate description of the way you play? You leave it on the field. I mean, you do whatever you have to do to win, and it's going to be perceived as being nasty. Act like a bunch of You don't get in your gap, they're going to beat your ass. We had you, Mike, for a game last year. And I got to tell you, your language, when you get mad off the field, do you talk like that? No, not at all. <laughs> not, not at all. It's, um, I mean, like you said, this is, this is a game. This is my profession. And I bring to the game, I think, what I, a lot of people have been looking for a long time back here in, in Pittsburgh is the love of the game. I mean, a guy who wants to go out and wants to win at, you know, at any cost. And I do whatever I have to do, you know, to get my players motivated and to uh, try to win the ball game. That's hard. You're going to play like that. Don't bother to come back out here. You're not yelling at the other team. You, you yell at your own teammates. You know, it's a form of motivation. If it doesn't apply to you, then don't listen to it. You know, but for some guys, you have to motivate them that way and let them know that, listen, you know, this is for real. Don't go stick your head where it don't belong. That's one. That's one. This show is all about the toughest players in the NFL, and we have selected you as among the toughest players. What do you mean among? Well, well, uh, I didn't pick it. We had a producers that picked that that said that you were in the, among the top ten. But I didn't do it. You know, maybe why you think you should be in. in the... I, I should be at the top. We picked Greg Lloyd as the uh, number one on our list of toughest players in the NFL. Would you agree with our assessment? I would agree with it, particularly when I'm in his presence. Who's the one guy when you're growing up that you don't want to get in a fight with? The guy who feels like. You know, he's just a crazy man and he'll do anything. The guy feels like he has nothing to lose. And, you know, I think Greg plays out on the field like he just has nothing to lose. Hey, man. Hey, hey. Get the f out of his face. What the f wrong with you? Go, Greg Lord. Don't be so mean, man. All right. Keep going, but hey, you see the siren right there? It's hard, boy. Just play it fast, man. <laughs> That's it, boy. Greg Lloyd's a monster. And he's a monster that can move. That's the thing. You know, most monsters can't move that fast. The single toughest guy that I've been around would be Greg Lloyd. I've seen Greg play with injury. He is the most intense competitor that I've been around. He, he has a way of getting himself ready, and uh, he has a motor that runs all the time, and what you see is what you get. Don't run that sh over here. What the with you. He's the type of guy that you always have confidence that when that whistle blows on Sunday that you're going to get everything that he has for the next 60 minutes. And that starts in practice during the week because he practices the same way. I'm a firm believer in you practice the way you're going to play on Sunday. And I think most of my teammates will attest to the fact that you know when I put the uniform on, it's practice or whatever, you come my way, you know you're going to get hit. And I mean, he's my teammate, but I don't, you know, reach down there and help him up or anything like that because at that moment, he's the enemy. And that's how you see it. He's the enemy. And, uh, you know, 
after you know after practice over with every now and then you know you go you know you just kind of walk up to it and go listen you know that's that's how I practice you know no offense or anything like that but if it's somebody that you know if it's a rookie or something like that you who gives a you just you know, you just, you know well they welcome to the NFL. I love the game, I love playing the game, I love being at that outside lineback position, and I don't accept complacency from anybody. Let's not have somebody running around that 30 to 15, get the ball wide up. That's, we're better than that, we play better than that, all right? Intimidating opponents, playing in pain, and inspiring his teammates. Steelers linebacker Greg Lloyd does everything one would expect from the NFL's toughest man. Hey, hey, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. His is a toughness that was forged more than two decades ago, while he grew up enduring a painful and difficult childhood. When I was two years old, um, my mom, uh, for some whatever reason or another, you know, left my um, six mothers and sisters with uh, my aunt to raise, and I was the youngest. And um, you know, for for so long, I guess you know, being two years old, you. You know, you, you, you don't you don't understand. That when you get a little older and you go in aunt and you call her aunt and you realize well, where's mom and it, you know, you, you deal with all the other kids and you see the other kids with mom and dad and you know, it's it's something that you, you want. And playing sports was an outlet for me and the other kids would be out there running around goofy, no coordination whatsoever, but their parents were just, you know, just all journey and and I'm thinking, I'm gonna knock this out of Johnny, he comes across here, and, you know, and it was something that you wanted, but, you know, it was like, shut up, quit calling these kids, man, he's not good, because you wanted to hear your name called in a sick kind of way, I mean, it's sick, but I was, I was trying to kill those little kids. The little boy who longed to hear his name cheered has now grown up, and at least a piece of what he missed out on as a child is now fulfilled today. When you come through that tunnel, and you see a boy Lord and just playing nasty and it's like, this is all for me, this is all mine. You got 50,000 people screaming your name. It's like, they all screaming my name. And I mean, it's a fire that comes on inside you and it's like, all right, they're here to see me. Let's give them a show. Come on, get up, get up, get up. Damn game. When you put that uniform on, it's like you're transformed into this superhero. You know, it's like nobody can stop me. I'm out here, nobody can block me. That's the energy and that's the thought process you have to have once you come out there. He is the most feared defender in football today, demanding nothing less than the best from himself and those around him. And his new extended family in Pittsburgh has welcomed Greg Lloyd with open arms, appreciating both the fiery determination and tireless dedication of the NFL's toughest man. When we return, today's stars remember the toughest hit they ever took. <laughs> 